This is the silver wedding handicap. We will take a look at all the details as they come in. Just waiting for the field to line up. It's a one mile four handicap, not to 110 at Newmarket. Innsbruck for D. Thompson, Putty and Cruz for Vinny Gerard, Sweet Scent for Obi Wan, Hyperion for Paul Rose, Fancran for D. Friends, Ard Kelly Jai for T. Rogers, Perfection for Paul O'Neill, Victoire India for Hems, Caddo Fern for Davy Ladd, Quick Draw for Mark Jones, X Marks the Spot for D. French, Black Bugatti for Mark Jones, Cafu Zara for Mike Westwood, Poison's Colours for Alex Cherry, Maraska Chief for Dan Hughes, Hannah and Volta for Vinny Gerard, Tyrell Fabulous for Dan Hughes and Profilgate. For Al Costello with 18 lining up for the Silver Wedding Handicap. And they are off to an even break. It's grey in the middle, quick draw, but now being pushed back on the outside. Profilgate is running well, they're at the bend already, and that has led to Old Kitty Jive taking it up in the middle. So it's Old Kitty Jive to Sweet Scent, Poison's Colours, Profilgate has managed to get over. Hyperion leads the pack with Tyrrell Fabulous on the rail. Coming through the gap is Kado Fern, X marks the spot, Marask the Chief. So, Odd Kiddy Jive is out in front as we approach the one mile and one point of the Silver Wedding Handicap. Three furlongs in. Sweet Scent for Obi Wan is in second. Poison's Colours in third. Profilgate in fourth. Tyrrell Fabulous on the rail in fifth. In the middle is there's Hyperion in the middle of Tyrrell Fabulous and Caddo Fern. Then on the outside, Black Bugatti. Uh, Maraska Chief in the middle of a bit of daylight on the rail. Um, X marks the spot. Putin Cruz is also on the outside here with Victoire India. Also sitting with them is Fan Cran. There's no one in behind their quick draw. Then at the back you've got Perfection, Cafu, Zarad and Innsbruck. And out wide is Hannon Volta. As we're into the final six furlongs of the Silver Wedding Handicap. There's three in a line out in front. Old Kitty Jive about half a length from Sweet Scent. Now they're starting to pick up from the back. Trying to jockey for a decent position. Going into the home stretch as Sweet Scent leads now from Maraska Chief who's picked up there's a wave of blue coming through here with Tyrrell Fabulous X marks the spot also coming through but on the rail it's still our Kitty Jive but Poison's Colours is in the middle now Maraska Chief and they're taking turns to take it up as they approach the free pole now we're into the business end of the Silver Wedding Handicap and Maraska Chief has done quite well to get to the front meeting the rising ground and is still going pretty well and starts to put a few legs between them. Maraska Chief has kicked for home early and there's plenty in behind lining up for a shot but they've still got to get to Maraska Chief who's gone and might have timed this perfection with a two leg gap ahead of Victoire India who's come out the pack. Sweet Scent is still there on the rail. Maraska Chief is into the final final now and they're not making any inroads. They're going to have to come quick and fast but it's Maraska Chief half a furlong to try and hold on. Putty and Cruz, Sweet Scent, Putty and Cruz on the outside takes up Maraska Chief. Maraska Chief, Putty and Cruz, Putty and Cruz, quick drop by Black Brigade but Putty and Cruz wins it for Billy Gerard. And I thought Maraska Chief and the jockey had timed that to perfection, but they've been done on the nod by Vinny Gerard's Putty and Cruz, who wins the Silver Wedding Handicap. Big try cost there if you'd have had it, but it's a good win for Vinny Gerard. Tends to do well over the 12 furlong trip, and he's had the winner here. Oh, off top weight as well, Putty and Cruz, so a decent horse. Um, Maraska Chief was second, ran quite well. Black Bugatti was third for Mark Jones. I think Helen Volta was fourth.